Hi everyone and welcome to the super easy simplicity trade review where we're looking for a couple of swing trades a handful of times a month. Literally, I'm really just aiming to do this video approximately every two weeks, give or take, right? The first and third Tuesday of the month is kind of my current schedule. Sometimes if something's popping up, I will definitely come through and other times, of course, I'm living a real life, so I'll miss it. But with that said, if you're following along, first off, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. Secondly, uh, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and all this stuff that helps the YouTube algorithm do what it's got to do. And third, I pray that I pray that I pray you are actually trying some of these trades. You can paper trade it. You can try in a demo. Don't take my word for it. Don't listen to me or anybody else for that matter. But go and test what we're saying. Go and test this theory against your paper trades, against your demo account, and see how this would play out for you in the span of three months and six months and a year. Like if you can 10x your money and stop working for it, if you can teach your t money to make for you, bleh, if you can teach your money to work for you, you'll be a lot better off just in terms of freedom. I'm not talking the Gucci belts, not everybody desires that. I'm talking peace, right? The peace and freedom to live life on your own terms lifestyle by design. With that said, let's go ahead and go over to the charts and take a look at the six trades we looked at two weeks ago on April 5th. And I've only got a couple of today, mostly because there's a whole bunch of overextended pairs and not a lot of great entries or confirmation, at least not as of today. Let's go ahead and go over to the charts. All right. So the first thing we're going to notice is I've got six pairs highlighted. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I already went over. What was it? GU. But we'll go take a look at that too. That six is supposed to be highlighted as well. We looked at six pairs on April 5th, which is April 6th on chart time, right? Of those six pairs, four of them actually, actually entered from where we said to enter. Two of them did not, as in they did not meet the criteria we had set, so they don't count as an entry at all, right? It's not a win or a loss. One of them, of course, the index went pretty hard against us, and then the USD Mexican played out really well. So let's just real quick, I'm not going to go pip by pip, just you guys can go to your own charts, you guys can review these YouTube videos on your own time, because it's all there, it's all digitally recorded there for you. But for the sake of conversation, first and foremost, GU was a pair we were looking at. Remember this is the one hour time frame, this is using the Simplicity Reversal Trading System. Let's go take a look, so 4 or 5 was where we were at, that's 4 or 6 at 3 o'clock. Four, six, three o'clock, if I can get there. This is where we were looking at, right? So four, six, this is 21, 19. You guys kind of get the idea. We were looking for it to break and stay above and or give us another level or to break this fractal, neither of which really happened. Instead, we got the continuation, nice pump up. And of course, we're still sitting pretty low. I personally am waiting on another breakout of this, although currently it's not ready. So that's off of our watch list for now. Next, USD Mexican played out stinking phenomenally. We were looking in and around. We were a little late to this party, but we still got a great overall trade. Let's see if I can't find the right move. That's six. You guys can see on the bottom of my screen, you're looking in and around this candle, right? The three o'clock candle is when we made that video. And we got a total of almost 2,000 pips out of this, so definitely not a bad trade. We did pull back to where price broke out before. And now we've got some more upward momentum. Overall, I think this pair has some more room to push up. Not to say we're confirmed just yet. This has been a major stalling point since 2020. Definitely got a little bit of room on this pair to maybe continue to track. If and when you get another signal, you've got one here now, but you're a little late. So I would either want a break of this and a confirmation, or I'd want to pull back. And I think this has already taken off a bit too much. But still, great, easy 2,000 pips bagged. CAD JPY did not have an entry. We know that yen has been extremely weak, like insanely. No, 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 no good math to this. Just no end in sight. So four, six, three o'clock, we were looking for the potential sell only on the break. So that was this candle. The most recent fractals are way back here and we didn't get that, right? So if I zoom in, we can see that a little bit more clearly. We were waiting for the break of that zone and we simply didn't get the break. So no hard feelings because at least we didn't lose any money, but still we really needed to see this break, this M formation we were looking at potentially forming and never formed. We had a nice trend line and we didn't really break below and stay below. We didn't have an impulse, you know, move below. So 
that's CAD JPY. Euro NZD played out, I think this one like 260-ish pips. Let's measure together just to be sure. That's three. We were looking for the buy on this one, and this one happened to work out just perfectly. So this is the four o'clock candle. We were looking, this hadn't had our signal yet. So this was against the simplicity system, not with the simplicity system. This was based off of basic price action and trend lines. This was our fractal. We broke that right over here. This moved for a total of 300-ish pips. I got 100, what, what is that, 262 out of it personally. So not a bad trade overall. Really easy, never broke a lower low. Easy trade, right? JBP Chef, I think, was my favorite for the last two weeks, at least I should say. And it definitely pulled back. I caught both of those moves in total. But we're looking for the 4-6. I don't even really think I need to do that. But I want people to understand, like, it's honest to God possible. Super, super possible. So there you go. We moved for a total of about 80 pips. We came down. We failed to break the previous low. We did not break it. Better get room for a spring. Since then, we've got about 253 pips out, out of this particular pair. It does have more room to the upside. Now, granted, is this a good entry point? Like if you're looking for a re-entry as of today? No. Notice I'm taking it off of my watch list. I'm not interested in that. But it was a winning trade for when we looked at this two weeks ago. Again, you set your stop loss, you know, away from structure with some spring, room for a spring, I should say, and then let it be. Get off your charts. Don't be sitting in front of the computer. Don't listen to every chat forum and Facebook group and actually just let this play out. You can go anywhere from 1% to 3%. If you've got a bigger account, by all means, do 0.25%. And just try this out for a couple of months. If you can compound your account by hundreds of percent a year that took you minutes a week, as you got skill, you can even compound that further. Really easy system to follow. Last but not least is Australian 200. This was the one that we lost. Kind of really ate into all of those um, USD Mexican win. I don't know why my screen is bouncing. It's having a good time. Let's see. One more time. Let's try to zoom this in. There we go. Okay. So we're looking for this Australian 200 for a sell at the break of the fractal. So this was a fair and square loss. Let's go look at where this was. This was the six o'clock or well, four, six at the three o'clock candle, which was right up here. This was kind of breaking. Let's see if I can find the right spot. Four, six, three o'clock. This is where we're at. We needed to break this fractal. So if you waited for that break, it fair and square square broke, not just once, but multiple times. So if you look back at where we kind of ended up getting stalled out, I personally lost a total of 1,600 pips on this one. So you'll see that if you had used structure, it's about 1,400, but still overall, my net from that two weeks with again, very little bit of any input, no stress, no back and forth, still was like 560, 592 pips. I better fix that on my little Printout. It was 592 pips is what I got for those two weeks on these exact six trades. So that concludes those trades. Now notice I will say before we go look at these trades this week, I have a lot of pairs on my watch list, a ton. But A, we're going to have to take them in morning classes because I would not use this as this system to find it, number one. Number two, many of those pairs are simply not ready, particularly with a system that is this late. Uh, they are super overbought, oversold. They are massively overextended. So this isn't going to be the time to go go get six and seven of those trades. It's just not going to set up. And even if we find it, it's definitely not going to be in line with simplicity. So for that reason, I've only picked three trades tonight. So let's go one by one and take a look. NZD USD is one of them. If I can find it and we'll mark it up on our charts. You would think I have seen it somewhere. There we go. NZDUSD, first thing I'll notate, again, this does not have a simplicity buy signal on it. It does not have it here because it is not ready on that system. But again, beautiful, great trend line. We've got a nice double bottom. Looking for this to buy up. Overall, from where price is currently at, we've got a nice engulfing candle off of a major zone coming all the way up. We've got a good 200-ish pips to go. Not bad if your stop loss is down here with room. So even if you use an entire ADR room, You've got, what is that? Approximately a two to one risk to reward ratio. That is not a bad trade whatsoever. Overall, let's assume that we're wrong and this does not give us the reversal we're looking for to come back up to where price broke out before. 
That's fine. Do we have enough room to at least close out our 50 pips? We do. So this is on my watch list for a buy. So NZD buy at Fractal. Whoopsie, I probably should do buy at Fractal. Got that written down. All right, next is actually Euro GBP. I'm in a lot of the cryptos too, guys. Euro GBP at least has the simplicity Euro. Notice we got a nice breakout we're retesting now. So we're really at a low point. Remember, we're gonna be waiting for the break of the fractal. You guys know the rules of how I use the system to make it profitable for many. Not just profitable for me, but profitable for many. So at the break of the fractal, if we're wrong, we still have enough room to come get our 50 pips and lock out. And if we're right, I'm looking for approximately again, 200-ish pips in total with my stop loss max, somewhere around 75 pips to 100. So you're still at three to one, four to one, or two to one, if you have your stop loss really far away, which is what I do. So again, great trade, great risk reward, no problem there. So that's a buy at Fractal. And then NZD CAD is my last one, if I can find it. Ta-da. So NZD CAD, again, I will notice that there is no simplicity idea on here because it's not ready on simplicity. I will say, but based off of the fundamental and overall value of the NZD, of NZD versus the Canadian dollar, I should say, this definitely has some room to push up. So we've got a nice impulse. We came down to correct where price broke out before, and we have another strong move happening now. So as we speak, we're breaking not only this fractal, but the previous, the next one. So this one, in my eyes, is an active buy. So I'll make sure I'll put active now. Active now for the buy. Whenever at the time you're watching this. And again, I'm not to zoom this out to make this kind of ugly to show you, but let's go off both scenarios, right? So we're sitting at kind of where price broke out, even coming to retest the next liquidity zone. You're looking at around 60 ish pips coming up to where price broke out before you've got 160. And if this does continue, right, let's zoom out a little bit. I'm going to go to a higher time frame. One more time, zoom out and fix it and break above. So if this comes all the way back up from where price is currently at, all the way back up to retest this zone, you're at about 290 pips. I'm going to be looking majorly in here, and if, when we get up to here, I'm going to be looking for a reaction. I wouldn't take it much further than this. I'd wait for their impulse and then the continuation confirmation before I would try to buy this anymore. But same kind of concept, guys. This Even with your stop loss far away, you're still looking at a 4 to 1, a 3 to 1, a 2 to 1 risk reward. Everybody wants to find the trade where they can put their stop loss oh so tight. And then they tell the world, oh, how great that is to have such a super tight stop loss. But here's the reality. Having that stop loss that tight is not going to necessarily benefit your trading style. In fact, what's going to happen more often than not is you're simply going to get knocked out of your trades and then no one won, right? Well, somebody won. It just wasn't you. So I'd rather find the most high probability setups. I'd rather find the most the best risk to reward setups and that's really what i've been focusing on most not only in my morning calls but also in in this kind of swing trading we've been doing at night as well as a couple of the other systems i've been testing using or building they're all focused on the best risk to reward because long term how do you survive all the swings of the market everybody can win some trades everybody can post a six and seven figure you know demo account and ta-da look what i accomplished but the reality is, if you don't have that money next week and next month, you have accomplished effectively nothing. So I'm looking at the most long-term, the longevity style of trading. How do I make this successful? How do you pass this on to your children? A skill set that no one can take from you, right? Really simple to do with just reasonable rules, reasonable management, and a reasonably decent system. You don't need any more than that at all. But those are the three trades I'm mostly looking at. I will mention... A little apprehensive to call these. I'm terrified that people might not know how to manage them effectively. Um, let me hit objects and make sure this is removed. For some reason, it is not removing on here. No idea why. But most of the cryptos have some potential buy setups happening. I am in a couple of them myself, and I'm not just talking about the holding ones in your wallet. I'm talking about day trading, like swing trading. So let's take a look at a couple of the cryptos, for example. This right here is SOL USD, right? I'm pretty sure I said that right. SOL USD. Um, great pair to look at. Great possible trade idea. 
you get a nice impulse up, you're sitting at where price broke out. If we get the continuation, I would be personally looking to bring this all the way up to where price broke out before. That's a decent amount of pips for how well this pair pays in total. So about 175 easy, all the way up to 200. And we know in general across the board, the crypto market in general is pretty bullish. Same thing on the couple of the other little smaller based pairs. I wouldn't necessarily do this with like Bitcoin per se, if your account can't handle it. But notice on Litecoin particularly, you've got a left shoulder, a head and a right shoulder. We'll put that on our watch list. We've got a nice definite buy signal on Simplicity. We've made a higher high and now we're pulling back. So you can wait, take it either now or at the break of that fractal and know that you've got some room. Got some room in here to get a really good risk reward trade. 129 ish pips. I wouldn't give a crypto as much room depending on how you trade because my stop loss based off of structure would be far, far, far away. Very far. But overall, measured move, just taking as much as the smallest shoulder, you've got enough to play out. So from the break of the neckline, this shoulder is about 90 pips. This shoulder is a little smaller, probably around, what is it, 50, 60 pips. So from the break of that fractal all the way up to this zone, which is kind of where we measured before, go figure. Really easy trade. Very, very easy trade. So maybe consider that one if you have the room in your account or you know how to leverage the lot sizes and all the other good stuff in terms of margin. We'll keep that one at least on our watch list. We won't do the other one, um, mostly because it's just, it's weighted a little bit heavier and I don't want anybody to get knocked out. So buy at a fractal on Litecoin. And that's it for today. So if you like this kind of content uh, in the coming weeks, we're going to be showing a little bit more of what we do in our live morning calls. I think in total, we've got over 300,000 pips since we really started tracking, I think counting from March last year. That is not bad considering it's all recorded, all live, all documented. No, it is not a perfect system. No, it is not without flaws and without losses because there definitely do exist. But it is the kind of environment where you can come hang out, um, meet like-minded people, discuss diverse, I dis eh, discuss d diverse ideas with somebody who hardly speaks English, but does try at least, um, and maybe catch some tips along the way. Great management and overall great people. So we're going to be sharing a little bit about that as well as some different companies that we're working with and new technologies. So I will end this on this note, which is if you have purchased Simplicity, uh, from any of my videos or any of the referral links, please make sure you do message me. Anybody who were purchased it through those links, I'm going to make sure you guys have like, I think a $25, uh, PayPal reward. So if you did, let me know if you're going to in the future, again, there's uncle P who owns super easy, does a affiliate program. So I actually was never using my link. I was using somebody else's link, but we're going to try to keep track of that, uh, moving forward. So if you have or are going to purchase Simplicity and you want to just test out the system, make sure you let me know, DM me, and I'll make sure you get your credit as well. So basically we're just splitting it amongst different people. So that is all I've got for tonight. Happy trading. I hope you guys have a beautiful week and I'll see you in about two weeks unless I get some uh, confirmation on some of the pairs that I'm looking at and just are not ready as of right now. Definitely not ready. A couple of the pairs that I really, really, really want are super not ready. But I will let you know when it comes across my desk if I am around. And happy trading. Happy Tuesday. Thank you so much. Take care and God bless.